And the Lagos State Government is currently constructing 13 new jetties to enhance water transportation and reduce pressure on roads. And Yakub Alebio Su, the Commissioner for Waterfront Infrastructure Development, revealed this during a ministerial briefing at Alaus Harikaja. Additionally, seven jetties and terminals were handed over to Laoswa for management last year. The completion of these projects is expected to improve water transportation, decrease travel time, lessen travel distance for communities, alleviate road congestion, and boost commerce and tourism. We are currently upgrading jetty at mile two, Amuwa Dauphin, which currently stands at 52%. We have the construction of jetty with waiting shelter and shoreline protection at Ijede in Ikorodu, which currently stands at 48%. We have the construction of reinforced jetty with waiting shelter and shoreline protection at Muwo or jaw at 48%. We have the construction of jetty with waiting shelter and shoreline protection at Oke Iranla, Oke Ra, Nla Etiosa at 46%. The commissioner addressed the reclamation and development of 150 hectares at Majidu Awari Ikorodu, as well as Eco Atlantic Land Concession Agreement. Bolaon Yishau, chairman of the House Committee on Waterfront Infrastructure Development, emphasized the importance of the Waterfront and Infrastructure Ministry, highlighting the governor's role in managing land in the state. We have Aisha Sul Island. Xavier Properties Limited, Calvary Shore, and Palava Yard. The administration has set the pace for making Lagos State a 21st century economy, which everybody is eager to be part of. While the peaceful and secured environment in the state is also attracting investors to the state on a daily basis. This has resulted in the ministry receiving several applications for investors, from investors to partner with the state to provide more lands for investment. Waterfront infrastructure development is a very critical ministry in Lagos State and is finding its feet as we see it. I say that with all sense of responsibility. As you know, Lagos State, 25% of Lagos State is water. So you can imagine what length of coast, both the, about in the Atlantic Ocean, the Lagos Lagoon, Baragri Creek, Yewa River, Oruge Lagoon, all the way to Omo River, Omo River. It's huge. And there's a lot of development that is required in those places and oversight as the case may be.